Hello, this is Dr. Michael Shear with Learn Lodi. This is a clinical technique demonstration video highlighting the new Zest Chairside Denture Prep and Polish Kit. What we're going to be doing in this video is demonstrating converting this mandibular complete denture into an implant over denture. Four Zest Lodi implants were placed in the anterior mandible as part of a training course at UNLV School of Dental Medicine with Dr. Engel. In reviewing our armamentarium, we have our blockout spacers, denture caps with retentive males, rigid PVS bite reg material, a fit checking material, additionally Zest chair side attachment processing material, the new Zest chair side denture prep and polish kit, a variety of instruments in addition to a red blue pencil. This helps mark the material. Lastly we have a few trimming instruments. In looking at some of our additional materials, we'll take a moment just to describe the chair side attachment processing material. This innovative bisacryl material uh, includes an 8 gram syringe that's good enough for 15 two implant overdenture attachment procedures, including 15 of the mixing tips and 15 angle tips. This syringe is a dual barreled syringe that's really easy to use, as you can see here. Dual barrel design requires no primer, is odorless and tasteless, and is very comfortable for a patient to use within their mouth. It's also very accurate and fits in perfectly with picking up either a locator or saturno attachment. The new Zest chair side denture prep and polish kit fits in perfectly within the chair side portfolio. As you can see here, it includes six burrs. The top three burrs are your preparation burrs, and the bottom three are your trimming burrs, all enclosed in this very premium feeling burr block assembly kit. The top three burrs, you'll first notice that the Zest Locator Saturno Recess Burr is an innovative design designed specifically by Zest Anchors to perfectly fit to accommodate either a uh, locator attachment housing or a Saturno attachment housing or denture cap. Size perfectly for precise application, efficient design, and very precise recess hole preparation. This unique design is within the burr kit in addition to the undercut burr. The undercut burr provides a mechanical retention also used on high speeds similar to the recess burr. The mechanical retention aids in holding the chair side attachments processing material in place. The vent hole burr is to aid in assisting at high speed to prepare a vent hole through the lingual or palatal slope of the complete denture to minimize any excess flash of the chair side material. Going through the bottom, we can see here that we have the trim burr, also used at high speed. This is to trim any gross excess on the cameo surface of the complete denture. The grind burr is essentially a specially designed round burr that helps you trim the superior portions of the locator and Saturno denture caps. The polish burr is the only one-time use burr within the burr block. The rest of the burr blocks can be used up to 50 times each. This is the final polishing step um, after you've done all of the attachment processing. As you can see here, it's all enclosed within this very nice, convenient, premium um, burr block. So the first step of the procedure is to use our rigid PVS bite registration material injecting into the position corresponding to the locator Lodi attachments. I'm going to be seating this passively on top of the edentulous ridge. After a few moments of set, I'm going to go ahead and remove that just to verify that it's showing through the markings of the locator attachments. The next step is as we go ahead and we take the grind burr. At high speed, we like to go ahead and make a couple of initial markings through the rigid PVS material. The reason why we like to use the rigid PVS here for this step is it is trimmable. The grind burr will very easily trim through this material, creating a very precise pinpoint marking position from that registration material, allowing us to have a lot of precision with how we're going to use the locator Saturno recess burr. So at this point we can go ahead and air dry off some of the dust around it, clean it off, and you can make a notice here that we've got four very precise round burr holes. After using the grind burr, I switch out to the recess burr. The chair side recess burr is used in a straight continuous motion just vertically on the intaglio surface the complete denture. A continuous force with light pressure is all you need. Slight pumping in and out can help you get the burr started and moving through the complete denture. I'll continue on in using this with all four of the um, 
the burr marks, the grind burr holes that I initially created, sizing the complete denture recesses for the locator attachment, which is what the image is showing you here on the upper right hand part of the screen. The widest portion of the burr when its superior edge is touching the intaglio surface is for the locator attachment and dropping in further for the Saturno attachment. Now here you'll notice I might have to go a little bit deeper um, just because um, the implants were placed with pretty high attachments. As the um, locator denture cap is placed inside of the recesses, you can see how it's perfectly sized for a very precise application. We've gone ahead and we've placed the four uh, locator denture caps plus the blockout spacers, and we're going to be injecting a fit checking material uh, into the intaglio surface of the complete denture in the area of the recess holes and seating the denture into place to mark any areas of show through. I like to hold this with my fingers just in a passive orientation, letting it set up completely, removing it carefully. Sometimes it's difficult to tease this out. Um, as we do, you'll notice that it comes out pretty cleanly, and any areas where we see acrylic resin shining through, that's where we need to adjust still. I like to use a red-blue pencil, preferably on the blue side, just touching the edges of the fit checking material, allowing a little marking to transfer. The locator recess burr is so precise that it creates the perfect size hole. So now in a real life situation like with this patient right here, we've had to enlarge the hole just a little bit more. I'm using the burr also at high speed like I've done before. I'm deepening the recess hole plus enlarging it slightly in a lateral direction. Any of the areas of show through using the fit checking material, the blue marker has transferred that over and I'm using the recess burr to continuously enlarge the recess hole. As I mentioned for the locator abutments are high here, so I'm deepening the channels as well. Once I've gone ahead and completed using the recess burr, I can then go ahead and take the undercut burr, burr number two in the top portion of the burr block, also run at high speed. The undercut burr is used in a lateral direction on the mesial distal and very gingerly on the facial and lingual, creating undercuts, a mechanical undercut, allowing the chair side attachment processing material uh, to mechanically bond to the um, recess portion uh, of the complete denture. Now that we're done using the undercut burr, we can switch over to the third burr, which is the vent hole burr. The vent hole burr is essentially a four-sided uh, triangular shaped instrument that uh, very precisely and easily allows you to prepare a lingual uh, or palatal vent hole. The Burr is used um, at the junction of the superior surface of the recess hole as well as the palatal or lingual slope of the complete denture, uh, easily inserting in and out, and then also checking from the intaglio surface. Sometimes you have to run the burr that direction as well. A lingual or palatal vent hole uh, aids in chair side material um, coming out through that vent hole to minimize the amount of resin flash you have on the edentulous ridge. Once we've prepared all of the recess, including the vent hole and undercut burr, I'm going to try the denture back in the mouth, verifying that the patient feels comfortable. Nothing feels like it's rocking as I push side to side, side to side. The patient feels comfortable, their bite feels normal, and they feel like their denture is nothing different with the implants in place. After verifying the proper fit of the complete denture to the edentulous ridge, we've gone ahead and we've checked that the locator denture caps and the block out spacers are in place. I'm injecting the zest chair side attachment processing materials into each one of the recess holes. I don't like to use the angle tip here, only the mixing tip, just because uh, of ease of use. I inject until it's about two thirds of the way full. When I'm doing that, I'm also verifying that none of the material is dripping out through the intaglio surface onto the edentulous ridge. Very carefully, I'm going to seat the denture onto the edentulous ridge with my fingers in a very passive orientation, holding the denture gently and evenly to the edentulous ridge, having the patient rest their bite. I don't recommend having the patient bite down during this procedure. Uh, a simple finger pressure is going to ensure that the denture is sitting intimately to the soft tissues. The chair side attachment process processing material is a true light cure dual cure option and we're accelerating the set with a light cure here. After about two minutes we can carefully remove the complete denture inspecting that we've successfully picked up all four of the denture caps. Now it looks like I've missed the one here on the left hand side of the patient. The most likely reason for that is an excessive amount of saliva and not drying that denture cap. Now thankfully that type of missed pickup does not occur very often, it just happened to occur here because of the training course. It gives us an opportunity to see some of the burrs in action, including the recess burr in action to remove that existing chair side material. I'm using the grind burr here at high speed, carefully trimming away any of the excess chair side material. 
As I mentioned before, it was kind of interesting in this video, which can happen with any sort of live training, that we miss one of the attachments. Thankfully, it doesn't happen very often. But it gives us an opportunity to see the recess burr being utilized to grind out existing chair side material. As you see here, the same continuous motion works very easily to remove that material. Now, not shown here is I did use the uh, undercut burr and vent hole burr to prepare and finalize the recess on the left hand side. I've injected chair side attachment processing material two thirds of the way full on that recess, and I'm very carefully seating the denture onto the dentulous ridge, activating the other three locator denture caps, carefully holding the denture in place in a passive orientation. I accelerate the set of the chair side attachment processing material with a light cure, and in about two minutes, I can remove that again. After completely set, I remove the denture carefully, inspecting that I have successfully picked up that one attachment. Now using my grind burr here again at high speed, I can very easily remove some of the excess chair side material that is coming around that locator denture cap that I just picked up. You'll notice how easily the material flakes off of, of this area, even though I have a little bit extra here, no big deal. The burr makes short order of any of that excess material, cleaning it up easily. At this point, I can use the chair side attachment processing material with the angled tip to fill in any sort of voids that I might have within the um, areas around the locator denture cap. Uh, once I've applied this material, we can go ahead and accelerate the set of that with a light cured unit, approximately 20 seconds per attachment. Immediately after light curing, I can go back to the grind burr and adjust the areas around the denture caps. Once I'm satisfied with the appearance of the attaglio surface around the denture caps, I can take out my trim burr. The trim burr is also used at high speeds, principally on the cameo or outside surface of the complete denture. It's perfectly suited and adapted to trim the areas around the vent holes created through the lingual or palatal slope of the denture. After using the trim and grind burr, I can switch over to the polish burr. The polish burr is a silicone impregnated tip that's meant to be used only on low speed. It really is a very nice polishing final step that you can use to smooth off the lingual slope of the complete denture or any of the areas around the, the denture pickup material on the intaglio surface or along the borders. It is recommended that this burr is a one-time use only burr and not to be autoclaved. After using the polish burr, we're basically done using the denture prep and polish kit. At this point, we can take out our handy core tool, removing our black processing males on all four of the Lodi locator inserts, replacing them with, in this case, the extended range red nylon inserts. And once I change over to the red inserts, I can verify that the denture has been uh, prepared and the attachments have been properly picked up within the denture. I can snap the denture into place in the edentulous ridge, verifying that I hear that nice audible click and I have excellent stability. I check with the patient to make sure she feels good and the bite feels right. This is Dr. Michael Shearer, and this has been a clinical demonstration of the new Zest Chairside Denture Prep and Polish Kit. For further information related to this kit or to find out how to order it, go ahead and go to zestanchors.com. Thank you very much. Stay tuned to further videos in the future. Bye-bye.